My name is Alicia Kowalkowski, and I'm a professor of biochemistry at the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. My specialty is energy metabolism, and particularly mitochondrial function and mitochondrial bioenergetics. And that's why I wanted to give this online course explaining how to study mitochondrial function and mitochondrial bioenergetics. When I started working in the field, which was around the early 90s, mitochondria were already interesting to lots of researchers. There were around 3,000 papers a year published about mitochondria. But in the mid-1990s, papers came out that changed the scene a lot which were papers that showed that mitochondria participated in more than just generating ATP through energy metabolism. They participated in cell signaling, in cell death, in differentiation of cells, in immune activation, and a myriad of other different functions. And that attracted many people to study mitochondrial function under many different conditions. The situation today is that we have about 7,000 papers being published a year about mitochondria and mitochondrial function. And that's where this co course comes in. Um, we basically want to give you an idea of how to study mitochondrial function, and particularly mitochondrial bioenergetics, both in vitro and in vivo, with a practical turn towards uh, understanding how to do this in real life. So how is the course going to work? First of all, I want to recommend that everybody get a hold of this book. Um, this is Bioenergetics 4 because it's the fourth edition of this book. I don't have any commercial interests in this book. It's by David Nichols and Stuart Ferguson. I'm neither David Nichols nor Stuart Ferguson. But it really is something of a Bible of mitochondrial bioenergetics. And I really recommend that you read it if you're studying anything in the field. I'm also going to use this book in many of the classes. I'm going to use parts of this book as coursework for the classes that we're going to give. Although I'm also going to use some texts from other sources where this book isn't as rich in its information. The way we're going to organize this is that I'm going to give you video classes that you can watch. And then we're going to have days in which we're going to discuss doubts that you have after watching these classes and reading uh, the coursework. And we're going to talk about the doubts you still have. On these dates, I'm also going to do a little pop quiz, and the aim of this pop quiz is just to stimulate you to study that subject and make sure that you keep up with the coursework, um, so you're going to have dates in which you have to actually know that specific subject. Uh, the dates go as follows. August 19th, we're going to study mitochondrial cell biology, and this is a very basic overview of mitochondrial structure and mitochondria and how they insert themselves within cells. On August 26th, we're going to talk about how we make measurements of mitochondrial function either in isolated mitochondria or in permeabilized cells and permeabilized tissues. On September 2nd, we're going to talk about mitochondrial ion transport and how to measure that. On September 9th, we're going to talk about measurements of mitochondrial function in situ, either in intact cells or intact tissues. On September 16th, we're going to talk about mitochondrial oxidants, also known as reactive oxygen species, and mitochondrial antioxidants. And here I'm going to give you some um, reading material that's outside of the book because uh, this part in the book is really not that extensive, but it's something that interests a lot of people, so I really think there should be a specific class on that. And finally, on September 23rd, we're going to have a very different class in which we're going to discuss bioenergetic problems that you, the students, bring to us. Uh, the idea here is that we're not going to grade you on what you're doing in terms of work in mitochondrial bioenergetics. So you don't have to worry if you did experiments that later on I said during the course are not the best way to measure something. Um, don't worry about that. The idea is that you bring to us either results that you already have measuring mitochondrial function or ideas that you have for doing experiments that are going to measure mitochondrial function related to your project. And we're just going to discuss this very openly in a group so that we can have better results and interpret these results uh, and just have a general discussion on mitochondrial function. I think this is very useful um, because you're going to put what we're talking about during the course into practice and into practice in your own project. 
it's not mandatory, but I really would like to stimulate every one of you to bring your bioenergetic problems to class. For September 23rd, I would like to ask you, if you want to bring your problems to class, to send me an email saying, look, I want to present, and the title of my presentation would be this. Um, I want you to send me these emails just so I can plan these presentations on September 23rd in terms of time that I'm going to give each student because we really can't spend the whole afternoon talking about this. All these classes are going to be at 2 p.m. Brasilia time. Uh, and on September 23rd, to have a richer discussion, we're going to be joined by two other professors who work in mitochondrial bioenergetics at Armarcos Oliveira from the Federal University of Rio and Ariel Zilber also from the University of Sao Paulo. So really, uh, this is a great opportunity on September 23rd to discuss your mitochondrial research and your mitochondrial ideas. Um, don't miss that opportunity. So we'll start in the first class and we'll see each other there talking about mitochondrial cell biology.